Welcome to another Exchange 2016 video. My name is Ed. And in this video, we're going to basically be looking at um, how to move your transport logs to a different drive. Now, I'm in Azure on my Azure machine here. And as you can see, I've got a temporary drive. Now, I'll change it back, but I want to show you that you can take everything off your C drive which is recommended that you move your transport database and logs to something other than the C drive because, I mean, it, it works hard. It, it does a lot of processing. Now, there's two ways that you can do this, right? You can go to the Exchange Admin Center, go to Servers, double-click Servers, and you can see that I can basically go here and I can change... Sorry, click the wrong button. and delete it and type in D for example but that's not going to be everything right so to do this we need to launch the management shell but we need to be in the scripts folder so if we go to Microsoft Exchange version 15 scripts right now I did save this so if we go here you can see I'm the first one I'm setting is move transport database, which is a PS script, which is already in there. And I'm telling it where to move it to. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to paste it in and run it. So as you can see, it tells you how much free space it needs, etc. It creates a folder for you. It stops the transport service. It moves everything across. And now it will start the transport service. So if we head over to D, um, you can see under data now I've got, there's the queue, and there's the mail for IP filter, sorry, and then that one is not supposed to be there, I think. And now what we're going to do is we're going to basically move these logs connectivity the protocol logs the transport logs and it's actually very easy to do if we go back here i'm going to clear the screen again as you can see it's pretty much straightforward to do normally what i do after this is i go and restart the transport service um, i generally do this in the beginning when i'm building the machine so a reboot happens after this and I know that it's done if you if that drive is not available for example if this now this drive crashes or I lose access to it um, within VMware or Hyper-V etc you'll notice that your C drive space will run out very quickly because the and the event logs will be showing you that it cannot access, cannot find, etc. So you can pretty much fill up a 600 gig drive in a day because it can't find the drive. So just be aware that if that storage is gone, you're going to have to rerun this command on top here, pointing it back to the C drive. And then when your storage is back and you've managed to fix it, then you can move it back and then your problem will be solved. And that's how simple it is to move the uh, transport database. Thank you very much for watching.